Lesson 2. Subtracting mentally two to three digit numbers. What I know. Subtract the following mentally. You are not allowed to use pen and paper for your solution. Write the final answer directly. 1. 300 minus 88. 2. 500 minus 135. 3. 62 minus 19. 4. 800 minus 500. 5. 753 minus 100. What's in? In your previous lesson you learned to subtract 1 to 2 digit numbers mentally. That lesson is very important to master so that it would be easier for you to subtract 2 to 3 digit numbers mentally. The strategy used in the previous lesson will still be used in this lesson. Only that this time, we will be dealing with larger numbers. Let us practice what you learned previously. Activity 1. Subtract mentally the numbers below. 12 minus 5. 30 minus 10. 88 minus 50. 28 minus 15. 83 minus 57. What's new? Activity 2. Can you help Anne and Pedro solve their task? Answer the problems mentally. A. A. Anne bought shoes and bags which cost a total of 300 pesos. She paid 500 pesos. How much change should she expect to receive? B. Pedro sells eggs for a living. His egg tray can hold 36 eggs. How many more eggs are needed to fill a tray that already has 18 eggs? What is it? There are instances in real life where mental computation comes in handy. You will face experiences that need you to add or subtract without using a pen and paper. The strategies that will be introduced in this module can be used to subtract mentally, and with constant practice, you will learn to do mental computation with ease. What is it? Strategy 1. Subtract by digits. This works well when we subtract without regrouping. This method is also called the basic rule of subtraction. Example. 678 minus 123. Simply align the digits under the column of ones, tens, hundreds and thousands then subtract digit by digit. Solution. 8 minus 3 equal 5. 7 minus 2 equal 5. 6 minus 1 equal 5. 678 minus 123 equal 555. What is it? Strategy 2. Add up to the subtrahend. This works well when we subtract with regrouping. Example 1. 84 minus 37. Solution. Think of what to add up to 37 to reach 84. To get the difference of 84 and 37, slowly add your way up to reach 84 starting from the subtrahend which in this particular example is 37. 
Example 1. 84 minus 37. First, add 3 to reach 40. 37 plus 3 equal 40. 40 is the closest tens after 37. And then add 40 to reach 80. 40 plus 40 equal 80. 80 is the closest tens before 84. Then finally add 4 to reach 84. 80 plus 4 equal 84. Three plus forty plus four equal forty seven. The numbers you added up to reach eighty four is actually the difference of eighty four and thirty seven, which is forty seven. Therefore, eighty four minus thirty seven equal forty seven. Example 2. 600 minus 260. Solution. Think of what to add up to the subtrahend to reach the minuend. Just follow the solution in previous example. First, add 40 to reach 300. 260 plus 40 equal 300. Three hundred is the closest hundreds after two hundred sixty. Then add three hundred to reach six hundred. Three hundred plus three hundred equal six hundred. Forty plus three hundred equal three hundred forty. 340 is the total of the numbers being added up. Answer. 600 minus 260 equal 340. Strategy 3. Subtract by hundreds and tens. This strategy works well when subtracting numbers involving three-digit numbers in hundreds. Case 1. The subtrahend is a multiple of hundreds. Example. 876 minus 300. Solution. Step 1. Express the given numbers in hundreds and tens. Express 876 into 876. Step 2. Subtract the hundreds. 800 minus 300 equal 500. Step 3. Add the remaining hundreds and tens. 500 plus 76 equal 576. Answer. 876 minus 300 equal 576. Case 2. The minuend is a multiple of hundreds. Example. 600 minus 176. Solution. Step 1. Express 176 in hundreds and tens. 176 will be 176. Step 2. Subtract the hundreds then tens. 600 minus 100 equal 500. Express 500 into 400 and 100. 
100 minus 76 equal 24. 400 plus 24 equal 424. 600 minus 176 equal 424. What's more? Activity 3. Subtract mentally by applying the following strategy. Subtract by digit. A 700 minus 200. B. 983 minus 700. Circa 45 minus 21. Add up to the subtrahend. A. 81 minus 55. B. 61 minus 38. C. 500 minus 296. Subtract by hundreds and tens. A. 400 minus 280. B. 700 minus 37. C. 918 minus 300. What I have learned. In subtracting two to three digit numbers without regrouping mentally. Subtract by digit. This works well when we subtract without regrouping. This method is also called the basic rule of subtraction. Simply align the digits under the column of ones, tens, hundreds and thousands then subtract digit by digit. What I have learned when subtracting two to three digit numbers with regrouping mentally. Add up to the subtrahend. Add up to the subtrahend to reach the nearest hundreds or tens and keep on adding up by hundreds or tens until reaching the minuend. Get the total of the numbers being added up. The numbers you added up to reach the minuend is the difference. Subtract by hundreds and tens. Express the given numbers in hundreds and tens. Subtract the hundreds then tens. What I can do. Mentally subtract the following subtraction problems then write the strategy being used. A 700 minus 530. B. 96 minus 43. C 85 minus 27. D 300 minus 96. E 100 minus 76. What I can do. Mentally subtract the following subtraction problems then write the strategy being used. A 700 minus 530. B. 96 minus 43. C. 85 minus 27. D. 300 minus 96. E. 100 minus 76. Nine. You have 70 marbles. You gave away 28 marbles to your friends. How many marbles do you have left? 10. You need to save 250 pesos to buy your mother a birthday present. You already have 120 pesos. How much more do you need to save? 